Cunningham Stadium has gone through some changes in recent years with stadium upgrades, but another change has come to this hallowed ground and comes by the way of a new sheriff in town, new head football coach Matt Seneca. Seneca takes over after recently coaching at Whitehall. The kids are doing well. They're adapting the things, you know, the new things that we're doing practice-wise and tempo-wise and uh, things like that. So they're they're doing they're doing well. They're fighting through it just like everybody else. There could be a lot of unknown playing for a new head coach. Depending on the player, there could be some hesitation or fear on what a new coach's philosophy may be. But that's not the case here at Easton. It's quite the opposite. Oh, it's been it's been amazing so far. I love I love having Coach Seneca around here. Energy is amazing. Just overall practice goes so much smoother, so much faster. Hard work all day. Um, it's been a great experience. Like I said, we've just been doing a lot of learning. You know, Coach Seneca has a great offense, and, you know, we're really prepared to execute this offense uh, well. And Coach Seneca, he's a great coach. He's really strict on us, but that's what we need. One thing that is for certain here at Easton is everyone is vying for playing time. The message has been clear long before preseason work began from the new head coach. One of the biggest points I made when I first met the team back in uh, February or March, it was... You know, there's really no returning starters in my eyes because I really don't know any of you guys. So the only thing I knew was what I watched on film last year when we played you. And um, so I think that part's been nice because you see a lot of guys trying to compete for spots and it, it, it ups the level of the intensity in practice too. So that's always nice to have as a coach. We've been doing a lot of learning, but it's pretty good um, for what we got going on right now. Um, we have a scrimmage coming up this Saturday. We're preparing for that, but I think things are looking pretty well. For the Red Rovers, they are working as a group to come together to make sure they hit everything in stride before that first regular season game next Friday. I think consistency is the word for us. Like, we show flashes of it, um, being really good on offense and defense, and then we show other times where we look like we don't know what we're doing. So um, I think the consistency of it is, is the biggest thing for us you know, our biggest focus right now moving forward on both sides of the ball, so. There is a high level of excitement here at Easton courtesy of new head coach Matt Seneca. Even with the new leader at the helm, Easton will continue its emphasis on tradition with winning being at the forefront. It means a lot to me, but I think it means more to the people in the stands here. You got the alumni, student section, band, they all want to see us win. The whole Easton community wants to see us win. It's a tremendous opportunity for me to be able to, you know, be the head coach here. Um, the history itself speaks, you know, the history speaks for itself. Um, but it, it, it's a neat experience. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to experience a lot of the traditions that they have, um, you know, being on this side of it now. I've seen it all from the outside, being in the community with the bonfires and all that stuff on Thanksgiving. And But now to be a part of it and being involved in it, it's, it's going to be a really neat experience. From Cottingham Stadium in Easton, I'm Mike Ventola with the Service Electric Network.